Welcome, to our tour of Athens, with George Kogos. When we last saw George, he was in Dubrovnik with his girlfriend Misty. One thing that you have to do... We had a major problem when this uh, site was chosen to build a museum. We found, we found out later that it was a really important ancient neighborhood of Athens. So everybody was like, uh oh. <laughs> and it was decided for the museum to be to be built on top of everything. See the this, on top this whole building just rests upon yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. And when you go in, you have to go to your under the museum too. Really cool. They have glass floors. Oh. Yeah. And I think wow. that's the perfect introduction before you go up on the Acropolis. Because this museum is dedicated just to the findings from the Acropolis. Oh just to the okay. Yeah. It's really modern and it's really well designed too. I heard it was one of the top museums in the so, world. Yeah, yeah. yeah so okay. you, don't, you don't need too much time. Uh, Old-fashioned museums, they're uh, maybe too big sometimes. Is that, is that the doorway? Uh, okay, can you come here? If you look through the trees, the pine trees, there's some steps. Oh, yeah, okay. They're not steps, there's, there's actually the, the seats of the theater. The, the theater, the seats of the theater used to go all the way up to where the those two doors are. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. They're, not, they're not doors, these are actually the water theater of Dionysus. And then you go, you walk a bit further up, there's another theater, it's actually an Odeon. Okay. Uh, that's amazing. The theater of Dionysus, it's not the best preserved, it's not the biggest you will see or whatever, but it's the first, the first theater in human history. Oh, okay. Super important. Wow. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, this city gave plenty of things to humanity. In, uh, the Athenians invented democracy. They developed philosophy. In my opinion, the most precious gift this city gave to humanity, theater. Really. Oh, okay. Theater was seen as a means of mass educating the public. That makes, yeah, that makes sense. And nothing escaped the pen of Athenian theater play writers. We talk about 25 centuries ago, right? Right. Uh, love, death, sex, betrayal, criticizing uh, the politicians, huh? criticizing the gods. Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, no. You can have an art form like that appearing only in a society of free speech. That's true. That yeah. uh, you need democracy to right, right. to have an art form like that appear. The tallest part of the Acropolis. South. We're, okay. we're on the southeast, actually. This is east. Yeah. So this is the tallest point in the town? Is that, what, is that how that was? Or? Well, actually not. The tallest hill is another one. We're going to see it later. That the one behind but, us, probably. Yeah. But oh, uh, Lycobitis? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But the Acropolis. This is a bit strange because the top, the top is flat. Right, which is... It so seems perfect. unusual for the so topography. It was, it was perfect. It was perfect to you just build a little wall around it. You got and you have a very strong fortress. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, you're, not, you're not getting up that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I can get up there. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see <laughs> that hill. Wow, this is That's cool. the tallest in Athens. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like about this. The Acropolis oh. is 450 feet. That's 900 feet. Okay. Oh, so twice as tall. You have to go up there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah that's the best view. Place. There's a little church on top. I thought that's what I saw. St. George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you, they, been to, have you been to Lisbon? No, no. The St. George's Castle. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I have to. Really. You're very famous. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can walk, but you can even get a taxi. It looks steep, but behind the back there's a street. The street takes you almost to St. George. Okay. <laughs> Even though Athens is quite big, the Greeks are 10 million. Okay, 10 million. Four million live in Athens. It's 40 percent of the population. Labyrinths, narrow alleys, as a defense against pirates. Okay. It also, you know, in Dubrovnik, mm -hmm. you know. Because if uh, pirates manage to actually storm the city or the town or the village, locals can easily just get lost in the alleys. Yeah. Okay. Some of them are really narrow, so it's super easy for locals to. You can just throw a, 
uh, a pot, whatever, <laughs> and block the lens frame. Ah, okay. So what he's saying is don't come to the I can go up here, or I can skip through here. Yeah. Oh wow, this is super cool. <laughs> it's it's super the same. cool. Right here? Mm -hmm. You want to be in here? <laughs> wow, this is awesome. <laughs> You lost me already. <laughs> you, you suck as pirates, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> we're the worst pirates ever. Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> even, even though we're in the middle of huge metropolis, this is like as if we're somewhere else. I yeah, don't it's, know. Totally, it's like totally, a little village. It's totally quiet and totally just. This is so cool. I think I know the title of this video. George's Lab. Let's say we're locals. <laughs> Let's say we're locals. And someone is chasing us, I don't know. We can make it up there where this guy is. You can be a really old man. And still you can easily defend, you know. Throw stuff out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, since we're here, First of all, you see uh, Le Cavitos. We're almost, almost to the top of the Acropolis. That's the tallest spot. Okay. But still, you can see Le Cavitos is even higher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you see back there? It's like a, this green area. It's like a park sticking out. What the, yeah, exactly. And we walked in the National Gardens, my you wife did. and I, today, yeah. The stadium that you see there, this is the biggest marble stadium in the world. Okay. Home of the first modern Olympic Games. Okay, really cool. 96. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you add the Greek word at the end, this means small. Small, huh? So yeah. yeah, we were down in I think Monastraki a couple of days ago too. We went and got some drinks. Yeah, cool. Thousand years old. Mm, really? Do they ever open it to the public? It's, it's always yeah. open. Yeah. It is if you open. come tomorrow is Saturday. Mm. Yeah, it will be open because there's a service too. Oh. Mm. This uh, this house is pretty cool. The owner, yeah, I mean, he used to have a wooden floor, and then he. Uh, Did you discover it was down there? To, yeah, this is an ancient Athenian mm. house down here, 20, <laughs> 24 centuries old. Oh, uh, wow. There's a basement at the back. A friend of mine, a colleague of mine, is, uh, did the excavations here, was in charge. I mean. So did he, did he just find that underneath there, like buried and, and cleared it out, or was it all? Was it, um, it was there. When the, the owner did some renovations, he decided to build a new basement. Okay. But the ancient basement was already there. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, okay. Of the ancient owner. <laughs> <You know>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so interested in finding The sky is just painted pastel. Yeah, I studied in uh, in Britain. Okay. Uh, I, that's where I get my my bachelor's degree. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Which university? The University of Wales. 
Oh, okay, was it in Cardiff? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. We flew right over Cardiff. I saw it on the way here. <laughs> I've been once. Day to sleep. Oh, wow. Okay. That's my picture right there. This, uh, no. Can we continue? It's just two minutes more. Oh, yes. There. Yeah. I'll be right there. Do you know, you know where where I'm taking you now? Uh, uh, scenic to, overlook to the hill of Aries. Oh. He was wondering what this was because we were looking on the map. It's a. It, it's not actually a hill. It's like a rock that we're going up now. <laughs> the, the hill that we're going up now is super important for Christians too because St. Paul stood on top of that rock we're going to see now okay. and he made his his famous address to the Athenians according to the Bible that there was one God over all gods Ooh. <laughs> all right exactly so the rock we're going up now is also a super important landmark for Christianity, okay. <coughs> uh, we made it. That's oh my really god, we were just run. <laughs> <laughs> hey it's a it's good for our our hearts. <laughs> what a gorgeous place. Regroup phase ten seconds. Seriously. <laughs> Okay, that's a rock. We're going up there. This is the speech of Paul. We'll have a look later when we are down. Paul stood up there. She had a really difficult task to address the Athenians under the Acropolis. Oh. That was dedicated to Athena. Just another god. <laughs> yeah, These are the ancient steps. Super slippery. You need to do this sometime, but not now. <laughs> you can go up. Yeah. Mm. 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 Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see. Can you see the sea down there? And Piraeus is down Piraeus, there, right? Yeah. That's uh, that's an island, Egina, at the back. Oh. Yeah. So what's this building up here on the top of the hill? My favorite hill, Philopapu. Okay. That's a, it's a monument up there, dedicated to a, a guy named Philopapus. <laughs> but this is the perfect view for to take a picture of the Acropolis. This part of the building of the the fortifications, right there, there's a water fountain. Okay. And. Uh, it was about to collapse. I mean, okay. the, because of the water, this uh, part of the so fortifications. So we can down below. Yeah. Okay. So they're uh, doing some the works there. Yeah. And yeah. then the other one on the right, it's a uh, like a tower. Okay. It's not a tower. It's, this was the base of a statue. There was a statue oh. up there. Oh, it's on top. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool. The statue of a guy riding a horse. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> It was made out of uh, gold, so forget about it, it's gone. Oh, yeah, somebody, <laughs> somebody. Yeah, but, but the tower was starting to lean <laughs> outwards. Oh, 
So, so they're doing some work now. St. Paul also stood to address the Athenians. It was at the end yeah. over there yeah. and the people below him. Interesting. The most important hill of Athens is this this empty space you see at the back. There's some. It's technically the first parliament in history. Oh. This is where democracy was born, right there in Greek. Oh. The Latin word for marketplace is forum. So you know both words. Forum. You know this because, okay. Also, you know the word agora because of this term in uh, psychology, agoraphobia. Maybe a lot of people. Yeah. So this is where yeah, Athenians met every day down the, the agora. And and that ancient temple is. This is the temple of Hephaestus. Oh, okay. You rem I don't know if you remember him, the blacksmith the of the gods. Yeah, dude. Hephaestus is gonna be my favorite. See, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans called him. No, thank you. The Romans called him Vulcan. No, thank you. Oh, okay. Thank he was god of fire too. This is why you have the word volcano. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about if I give one unified answer? There we go. One the unified. It's gonna take me one minute, really. <laughs> the, the, from that long building that you see down, down there, all the way to that temple, this all all this space. The ancient agora, the ancient marketplace, the heart of the city. Everybody met every day down there to discuss politics, religion too, commerce, you know. All okay. public buildings necessary for the Athenian democracy to function too were down there. Okay. Most of them okay. ruined, except this incredible building because of the Rockefeller Foundation, as I said, back in the 50s spending millions of dollars, they decided to completely reconstruct the whole building. It's it's crazy. Huh? 100%. And this is why it looks the 1300, 1300 to the 900s okay. BC, BC. That's a dark age for Europe. Then uh, the Greeks wake up again, <laughs> whatever. The Olympic Games, uh, okay. Athens becomes stronger, democracy is invented, created, you know. Then theater, okay. philosophy flourishes. Then the Romans appear too, and, and take that's over. the this yeah, is the birth, that's the birth of Western civilization. Actually, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he was in a, he was in a, he a Roman prison. In the end, he was put he was put to death in the end. You know, in Rome. You know, there is one exception. One, his whole life, all his travels, when he came to Athens, when he came to Athens, he received an invitation to address the public. The only oh, time in his life. Yeah. Didn't, did not know that. And Paul didn't want to address the Athenians in the beginning. I mean, Paul himself, he knew the Athenians, they had this reputation of being the most well-educated people in the world, the Athenians. Paul was just in Athens <laughs> to address the Jewish community of the city. Okay. Yeah. Some philosophers heard him Stoic and Epicurean. They heard him uh, because the, because the Jews. That's another thing now. The Jewish synagogue. It's the oldest known synagogue on European soil, really, the most ancient, inside the Agora. Oh, of Athens. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh, amazing. Interesting. And the Paul was there talking to the Jews of Athens because they also had this reputation of being the most well-educated Jews. Of <laughs> Stoic and Epicurean philosophers were there too. They heard Paul and they said, uh, This is interesting what you're saying. Is it possible for you to get to the Hill of Ares so we can all uh, come and listen to you? Because we're curious. Paul must have been, <laughs> Yes. So you know, okay, so I get to talk. Talk. <laughs> The only time he got a, an invitation, actually. <laughs>